Hey everybody, it's a bit noisy, it's because of the waves and I'll try and adjust the light later. So uh, I've been saying I would do this, this is about Buxby and how that would change human nature and the human condition of which I have two different definitions. The, um, look, we're really used to human nature being that we're out for our greater good against other people. And we are entrenched with that mindset. And anyone trying to move past this uh, about being one and giving love to each other, sell it as a personal uh, evolution, but without changing the frameworks for that evolution to scale. And that keeps it small, and it also means making more money for those people selling it to you. My objective, of course, is not that, by default of what Buxby is. So, Buxby is about being able to create sustainably. The way that I put it is, what experiences, who best makes experiences to empower the most people, in the most sustainable way, sustainable way possible to redundancy. By redundancy, I mean that we've evolved so much that there's no longer a need to make uh, whatever that was, and we can make something new. In a world where jobs are um, have a shorter lifespan, it's better to use a currency that supports evolving yourself with the different things that you would like to do and not be owned by paying for that evolution or and chancing that it's not the way you want to go. Anyway, back to the bigger picture. Human nature for me is that it adapts to the current environment to succeed. And looking at that historically, that's always been around dominion and ownership and war with other people for your culture to succeed instead of accepting the cultural differences for whatever benefits they are to empower the most people. I could say that in the past that was an inevitable consequence of life. But part of those executions of dominion, we've been valuing wealth with things of objects, gold, jewelry, etc. But that's not really wealth. <laughs> I'm going to mention this in another video. Um, so it's always been this war to overcome um, scarcity, because we think resources are scarce. They are scarce, but creativity is abundant. And when you have a currency that is built on scarcity to have value, then it promotes that scarcity. And we never know how to get out of it. It's still this perpetual argument of my winning against the other person, people winning against other people. But if you have a currency that's based on the work of people, and that we have this likelihood of trying to get the greatest reward with the minimal amount of effort, then the currency has to, do, to evolve that uh, by valuing creating sustainably, because that is part of human nature, our wanting to get the greatest return with the min most minimal amount of effort. And that doesn't mean what we make is less valuable, it's by default what makes it more valuable, that we will make those things that last, that don't um, become obsolete, that are only recycled or reused or whatever, um, if there's a greater advantage of that evolution. So human nature can adapt to that different environment. 
we have the chance to not have war as a mean of uh, to, as a means of success towards um, our security. It's about collaborating, and this is not about being virtue or moral or that some greater high good told you to do that. It's just logical that you will gain more collaborative collaborating than by competing and using competition to collaborate rather than the other way around. So human nature, it adapts to the environment to succeed. The other thing is human condition, which again almost seems to be like um, these, I've been reading about it and I've got to be honest, it doesn't quite make sense to me. Uh, about the the objects that make human hum, us humans, which is a great, wonderful way to get into particulars, but not really achieving anything. How many philosophers do that? So um, I'll give you my version of human condition. We do not know how to love ourselves as we choose to love other people. I think that's a really big problem with us. And in an environment that makes trying to evolve, evolve out of that difficult, then we will, again, adapt to conditions to succeed in the best way that we know. At present, people that are teaching self-love, again, do it with a lot of, a lot of money, which makes it inaccessible for people. Any empowerment ha is a gift and should be able to be given. And again, we get to the mindset that um, of, oh, not the mindset, but the, uh, the capacity to access that. That sounded a bit vague, sorry. Anyway, human nature, we adapt to our environment. Human condition, we do not know. We don't love ourselves as much as we choose to love other people. Buxby is all about allowing people to have the freedom to discover those things without fear of wasting time and resources. Um, okay, I think that's long enough. I'll talk more. So many more things I need to put, but I'll encapsulated as much as I can in future videos. Take care.